Uh, good morning on this Monday, December 14th, 2020 at 10.06 a.m. And this is an entry for Aisha's journey journal. And I will be reading to you again. This isn't a paper from when I was at school. This is from the book Poetry Pocket. Now the Poetry Pocket is on sale at Amazon Kindle. I don't know if I should start from the beginning or Mm-mm. well let me tell you what the book is about first. Um five best friends enjoy the food to their lower middle class neighborhood in Connecticut. Weekly conjoining at the local poetry pocket, they completely let go and resurface refreshed and pure. An old a homeless man decorates the suburb with his early morning tributes to his town folk and his admiration for the poetry pocket. After a shooting and drug-related death, Artis, one of the teens, is at the forefront of trouble. Nestling within the comfort of the poetry pocket is the truth. Is the poetry pocket so deep in love that it cannot see the dangers that live within its very walls? Or is the owner, Coral Road, so blinded by the environment she's created that she just doesn't want to see what's really going on. I guess I have to start from the beginning. And how I lay, this book is laid out and it's written in stanzas. And whenever there's a new character, I say the character's name whenever it's about them. And then when it changes from that character to another, I always say the name of that character. So that's how it breaks down. But the first is the homeless man, and his name is Archnianus. And here I go. Archnianus. Flies fight for the funk of these mornings, buzzing and hunting, seeking to destroy. Over a heap, I say, over a heap, as old as yesterday, drunk with heat. One would land, another would send him away. Loud it is, extremely large to them, to conquer the smell of human existence. My nose admires the love of ours. A cinnamon fire inside homeless eyes. A sight of war and light. Mingling socialists. Too absorbed in their baby larva. Usually early for me. The unquenched 6.30s. Normal quarter to 7s. Going for coffee. Then surgery. Someone familiar to help remove. To help improve the sociology of this. Independently suppressed reformist 42. Homeless and banged. The name... Mr. Archnianus. For some reason, Aisha chose me to narrate this recipe of peace. What a friend she is to me. <sighs> a friend of real life situations. I was born this way. The subsidiary has deformed. It made me afraid of the financial kingdom, astray of love in its material form. Fond of wine, I was at times. Gulptuous, I outrightly describe. My distant, aloof, substitute, part-time. Excuse me, I admit I needed it at the time. The strength of it caves me and lures me in toward form and shape, tempting me, Archninus. Come back to my withering faith. Do you hear me now? I shout aloud across the streets of this sleeping town, toward the breath of our morning dawn, to the flies overthrowing our government dawn. As I close thoughts throughout my mind, I reside, I relax, I, better yet, to collapse under society's pride. It's the stereotype, the under, beneath its eyes. Throughout these streets in Connecticut, I've lived my life, and through morale, I see the light. It seems that every time I come to this corner, the poetry pocket sets the scene. A blessing it is to everyone here. Let us tell you a little about the owner. Coral Rose defines the space. Four years running and never out of place. Open arms, soulful charm, welcoming all walks to voice their hearts. To break if needed, to scream out demons, to relax, kick back, and enjoy the evening. All ages, a welcoming face with. A constant healing, the warmest feeling. To hear these teenagers speaking, poetry in a form of tireless living. Mrs. Rhodes, oh, Mrs. Rhodes, let me assist you with your things, Art cries out. That is quite okay, Mr. Nyanis, <laughs> laughing, Coral answered. Can I plan on seeing you tonight at tonight's show? The poetry, Miss Rhodes, the poetry, Art replied. Well, have a good day, my friend, Coral ended. 
She traps me in my thoughts, this woman. She gives my dirt worth, this woman. Good Lord, keep her as your own. It seems like every time we meet, I'm home. Good coffee and conversations at the local donut and pastries. The people who know you and the people who don't. I'll be back tomorrow for more. The day ages beautifully around this time. Almost everyone awake is at life. Somewhere doing somewhat something to stay up. To embrace the latter evening with gust. Good God, my shoes is toe up, Art confessed. Almost to Christ. Breaking barriers and planting flowers. Is Mr. Nyanis to this town? He is familiar and he is allowed. He gives depth to a shallow ground. To keep us is up when us is down. <laughs> Giving you and me that we, we need. Good day, it seems. I'm laughing, I think. I wore manners with this speech. Beauty and struggle, love and practicality, power and all of its authority. Casual, classic, fantastically. That is how it invites me. This poetry pocket is my lining, the core of my writer's coat where the snow blocks and binds me, leaving my eyelashes smothered in diamonds. It's the way I appreciate the love it gives. It's the last way I have to live. I bow to its corner for my ribs as I spin toward my own existence. I have a song for the flies tonight, one that'll send them warring tonight. Mr. Nyanis got something for them folk with wings that word and soulful slopes. A promise for the dirt, a warrior's hope, that loss for pearls, dear poetry pocket. Love for her craft, as does the other half. Stay in heat within thee, and twice prepare for an enemy. Amila. She's Amila is one of the teenagers. Yo, what's up? What's good? What's poppin'? What's good? Oh yes, do these shoes match this dress? Does this hair match this flesh? Does my clean match my fresh? Yes. Some say I think more about me than others think of themselves. I say I love more about me than any store can place on a shelf. Oh, I say yes. The way I get dressed for school, the way my makeup attracts you, the more I say yes, oh, the more I say yes to you. I am the appropriate attire. Oh, I am the Amila success. Beyond convinced I am. Oh, yes. To think it's still early. Only 7.30. Only 10 minutes away from a donut and pastries cafe latte. Mr. Nyanis. Out the door she wades. Slowly but surely. Deep into the day. Amila the brave. A frequent coin at the pocket. Sometimes a penny. But not often. I remember once. Once she drew the pain from my heart with a sonnet on female fear. I couldn't believe how bad I soaked my sleeves. That someone so beautiful was so long in tears. She's quite beautiful. A mixed heritage of summer and fall. Hair tinged with sweet, strongly flowing against the gentle breeze. She's something clear to the wild. My kind flocks to her smile and silently deviate and plot. Too hideous to growl. I growl. Talk about teenage years like most of them are. Young Amila, just full of the march. Coral Rhodes. Coral Rhodes owns the poetry pocket. The place itself. With a twist and turn of a key, the doors of the poetry pocket were released. Opened early for cleaning. For Coral's office work and some peace. She placed her cleaning box on the table. Walked behind the bar and into the kitchen. She grabbed several items, a broom, a mop, a bucket, and some gloves. First, she would clean, grab the floors from each corner, sending dirt into pillows of dusty air. With a swoop, she removed and cleared. A bucket of top job and some hot water. Suds, buttered and mixtured. Buttered? Bubbly. <laughs> Suds, buttered the mixture, bubbly. Oh, but not for nothing. This blend was strictly made for cleaning. In a continuous left to right motion, Coral made her way across the room. Starting by the front door, she mopped a sea of ocean waves. Once the job was done, she opened wide every door. With a smile that sent the wind rushing in, the floors dried as the sun shined in. 
She sat on a stool, easing her wind. She recalled a couple of names, shaking her lowly head in thanks. Amila. Where's Mirror? Miss High and Mighty. Mirror, where art thou? Was quite the timely. You wouldn't believe me if I told you, but Mirror is just like me. Except she gets straight A's, and she's street smart and funny. What's the other? We're sisters in this life. She gives us brains, and I give us price. Mirror. Good morning, Miss Maybelline. All that makeup. Mirror pinches Amila's cheeks. Can your face even breathe? What happened to setting our natural free? Anyway, lovely, did you study? I smashed some chapters of math. I even jumped ahead to the next chaps. Maya. Amila. Girl, I am too, yes. I am too confident to fail a test. All I gotta do is remember to look over at you, and if you slightly move, mirror. Now I'm Miles. Not this time. You're on your own, Miss. Give me all the sunshine. <laughs> mirror laughs. Amila, fine. I'll be okay. The authoress. The authoress is me. I come in in and out the story, and I give my perspective. Mira and Amila continue to chat and laugh as they walk to school. About two blocks back is Trio and Akari, awaiting their friend, Artis. Trio. Oh, I knew he'd pull this. Pull it right out of his uh, shoe. A reason for us to stop so he can adjust his groove. Ten minutes back from you know who. You know what I'm planning to do. I'm telling you, Ak, this girl is going to be my boo. Akari. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm caught between two captains. Who are you supposed to choose for you without breaking the both of you? I don't know, dude. You should con you should concentrate on you. There's too much about this girl with you. Last night's game is still on my news. Come on, we're too young for rules. We used to concentrate on school. Get straight A's, have positive attitudes, and realize how important I am to you. The author is. Artist runs up behind them. Artist. Oh, what's poppin' over here, young Seusses? One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Ooh, I'm in love with a new chick. Girls is tired. What about that fire? You need to get your hustle on to upgrade your attire. Them shoes is through. That t-shirt too. Them jeans that used to be blue was faded all the way through. See these kicks? <sighs> Brand new. The cap? brand new t-shirt crisp and cool hip-hop the new style vintage is poof gone with the wind oh just like them Tim's. trial straight borrow from the tube what you hear, see here is all me with the grades to match oh my style is intact i spent a hundred on a book before i spend it on some slacks buy my mom's the new pocketbook before i give it to the trash i'm all about the trial oh you gotta say it with a smile the t-r-y-e playing with your style gotta have the flyest lady on my arm the authoress act stopped in his tracks an artist jumped back in the b-boy stance they launched the attack as they walked beatboxing the school laughing clowning just acting a fool thumbs up oh, i'm sorry Coral Rhodes. Thumbs nervously fumbling, hand clasping hand, hard headed thoughts again, catching me off guard. Getting up to face what I couldn't yesterday. It's just a cigarette. It can be erased. I quit, I vowed. Insanity insistently, ouch. How about now? How about right now? I can't answer that question. I shouted out loud. That's how my father got wiped out, tore his lungs right out. Help me pick up these pieces. Jesus. It's a habit getting deeper. First it was smoking. And now that I've quit. The insects are returning to bite me. It builds so strong against the artery. It feels like a pop or a heart attack or something. Always giving something what it wants. Sends you old young ways. So you catch older second breaths. It's always peaked. Right where I didn't care. My desire to live would flatten. And then disappear. I could and would smoke a pack in three days, sometimes two. I'd reek of tobacco, and that's not pretty. It took me ten years to stop. Ten years. And after all this time, I still have to talk it out. It starts with the nerves, and then it's the burn. 